Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Francesca, a private pilot and flight school coordinator here at OC Flight Lessons. And I want to discuss with you what is required in a class Charlie airspace. So we are currently in a class Charlie airspace. It's our home airport, which is John Wayne. We are right here on the sectional. Now, typically class Charlie airspaces have a five nautical mile ring on the bottom that goes up to 1200 feet AGL. The next ring is 10 nautical miles and it's from the top of that last ring to 4000 feet AGL. This one's a bit different. We are a busier class Charlie airspace, one of the busiest in the country. And we are surface to 4,400 in that first ring and then the outer ring, it's kind of a mixture of everything. We have 3,500 to 5,400, 1,500 to 5,400, 35 to 44, you get it. Now, what are the requirements to be in a class Charlie airspace? You need to have two-way radio communication, but it, you need to maintain this with ATC as well. Now, you don't need tower to approve you to go through a class Charlie. You need ATC to approve you, and you need to be on the radio with them at all times. You also need a mode C transponder. So while we do need it in class Charlie, right out of our class Charlie, we do have the mode C veil. So even if we wanted to go over the water and turn off our mode C transponder, we cannot because this mode C veil is 30 knock miles around LAX. LAX being a Bravo, it's an extremely busy airport and it's really important that we keep that on at all times. We also need to have ADSB out on and then within nautical miles at 2,500 feet AGL, your speed restriction is 200 knots. I hope this helps and I can't wait to see you around here soon. Thank you.